Hi everyone, I'm former Republican State Senator Phil Harriman, joined always by my friend and colleague, former Democratic State Senator Ethan Stremling. Let me ask you this. Mm. Do you think the Attorney General, in this case Janet Mills, who was an part important of, part of the equation, let's be very clear. And an important part of the equation. Mm -hmm. Was part of a settlement with some of the rating agencies back uh, when the banking and mortgage crisis, and I'll, I'll fast forward to the end. Maine got a settlement of uh, almost $22 million. Janet Mills is saying she has the sole discretion to decide where that money goes. Governor LePage has taken exception to that decision by the Attorney General. What do you think? You mean she's taken the same position that Republican Bill Schneider took two years ago, which is that in that the would quarter... Be, that would be yes. the one. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, exactly. So all of a sudden now, and I don't remember LePage complaining when Bill Schneider took that position, so obviously there's a partisanship going on here. There's no doubt about it. But that said, I do think that public money should be dispersed in through public conversation. Uh, Attorney, Janet, uh, Attorney General Janet Mills has said she's going to bring together a group of bipartisan folks so that they can decide how this money should be spent. The court order does say specifically that the Attorney General should disperse the funds, so she's doing what the court has requested, and that it should go towards consumer protection because that's what the case was all about. So she's going to bring a group together, but I, I certainly, the broader you can make this, the more people you can bring in, but let me throw it back to you. Would you say it's better that she gives it to the legislature? Because you know how the legislature can spend money and what they'll put it into. Well, let me go back to that snarky comment you made about when it was a Republican attorney general. I, I think, uh, bluntly, that it doesn't matter whether it's a Republican or a Democrat attorney general. The policy question is, who should get the, the power to decide where that money goes? And the governor, I think, properly has said that the attorney general regardless of whether they're a Democrat or Republican, does not have the legislative, certainly not the constitutional authority to disperse where these dollars go. So he has put in a bill to make it clear that the legislature should decide where those court settlement costs go. Yeah, but it, it, he's not saying that they don't have the constitutional authority. They do have the constitutional authority to do it. He's trying to change where that authority lies. And my snarky comment was merely that the governor did not bring this up when there was a Republican. That was the whole point. He seems to only want to go after the attorney general when it's a Democrat. But he may be right in the end. That's okay. He can't help himself. He really he just can't help himself.